Hello, I am Chief Dennis Sean Ray of the Loveland Police Department. I'm going to read a brief statement, um, then introduce Special Agent Savalas Kidd with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations. We will not be answering any questions after this statement. Thank you for your patience. Obviously, it has been a very long day, especially for the Crawford family. This must be extremely difficult for them. Our thoughts and prayers are for the safe return of Kaylin. I know they want answers, as, we, as do we all. And we will share what information we can, but please understand we are in the early stages of an ongoing criminal investigation. Everyone's priority right now is to find Kaylin and return her to her family. At approximately 8.52 p.m. last night, Kaylin's father called and reported his daughter and her car seat were taken from his parked car at the Dollar General on Loveland Madeira Road. Officers and investigators immediately started gathering information and searching for Kaylin. Overnight, we requested assistance from the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations, BCI. Both agencies continued to gather information and search for Kaylin. BCI is the lead agency in this investigation. Special Agent Kidd. We've partnered and are assisting the Loveland Police Department in this missing. Um, this investigation has several moving parts. We are in the process of solidifying a timeline while other investigative efforts are taking place. We have a number of agents from BCI, FBI, and other local agencies assisting in this investigation. We're continuing interviews and canvassing certain areas of interest. All of our further media inquiries will be directed to the Attorney General's office, uh, Jill DeGreco. My name is spelled S-A-V-A-L-A-S. My last name is Kidd, K-I-D-D. I'm sorry. S-A-V-A. V as in Victor. S-A-V-A-L-A-S. My last name is Kidd, K-I-D-D. Assistant Special Agent in Charge. With what agency again? The Bureau of Criminal Investigations, Ohio Attorney General's Office. No questions at all, Chief? No, no questions at this time. We'll try to update you as soon as we can with information. Well, the question I have is not specifically related to the case about the idea of Amber Alert. Why was there ever thought about an Amber Alert call and why wasn't there one call? Um, we did contact the uh, Ohio State Highway Patrol and um, submitted our information to them. Um, we were told that it qualified as an endangered child um, report, not an Amber Alert. So that's what we filed. Thank you.